Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Mark Nicholson coming to you from Larkins GMC in Tomo, Wisconsin. This afternoon, I'm going to be walking you through this nice new uh, truck that we just got in. This is a 24 GMC Sierra 2500. So this is the heavy-duty three-quarter ton truck. Now, I just wanted to point out, this is not the only one we have. We've been on a good string lately and just got a couple other new ones in. I'm just going to show them to you quick. I am going to be going through them here in the next couple days. But just to throw you some uh, shots of them. This one here is also the 2400 Denali. Excuse me, the 24 2500 Denali. And here's another one of the same. And then down at the very end. So that is a 24 3500. So we've got four heavy duty trucks in right now. Today I am going to be going through this blue one right here. A really nice truck. It's a downpour metallic. Again, this is in the Denali. This has got the 6.6 diesel in it. It's got the Allison 10 speed automatic transmission. The diesel engines come with a three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper and a five year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. As we're walking around the outside of this vehicle, you can see the definite Denali standing out on this, that big grill coming out of there. Nice LED lights. That's that Denali tire and rim package. You got your assist steps, the trailering mirrors. Vehicle does come with proximity keys, so as you get closer to that vehicle, if you've got the key in your hand, or the key in your pocket, all you have to do is push that small chrome button and that'll open right up. Got some nice front steps on the front of the bed. You can stand up in there and get into the front of the bed without having to lean over the edge. More in the back. Got that multi-pro tailgate. We'll go through that in just a little bit. This one does have the fifth wheel prep package. So there we are, there's the outside of this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. All right, before we go through the inside of this one, let's talk about what it does have. Ford collision alert, following distance indicator, front pedestrian braking, IntelliBeam headlight system, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking, safety alert seat, rear cross traffic alert, high definition surround vision, front and rear park assist, trailer side blind zone alert, trailering package, trailer brake controller, vehicle trailering app. This vehicle does have the premium GMC infotainment system. The Denali's come with the three years of premium OnStar. It's got the Bose premium sound system, the bed view camera, the 12 way power front bucket seats, ventilated and heated front seats, heated rear seats and the outboard seats, driver's seat and mirror memory, wrapped and heated steering wheel, Power folding and extending heated trailering mirrors with auto dim, LED fog lamps, spray and bed liner, LED cargo area lighting, power rear sliding window, GMC multi-pro tailgate, LED headlamps. Vehicle does come with the Denali reserve package. It's got the technology package, so you've got the rear camera mirror, the multicolor heads up display, adaptive cruise control, power sunroof, this 2500 also comes with what's called the max trailering package. So with that max trailering package, you do get the 3500 heavy duty frame, 3500 leaf springs, the 3500 12 inch rear axle and shock package. As I pointed out earlier, it does have the gooseneck fifth wheel prep package, GMC protection package, all weather floor liner and front and rear splash guards. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. All right, here we are coming through the driver's side. There are options on our driver's door, opening the windows, closing the windows, locking the doors, moving our mirrors. There are memory sets for the mirrors in the seat. The Bose premium sound system. A shot of that floor package that comes with it. Power seats and lower lumbar. Some really nice stitching and leather in the Denali package, our sunroof, 
Is our heads up display. Electric power, electric parking brake. Options for our drivetrains, numerous options for interior and exterior lighting. Left side of the left side of the steering wheel is our cruise control. <coughs> it's our adaptive cruise control button. Button, turn the nav on and off. So the adaptive cruise control. If we've got our cruise set at 75 miles per hour, traveling down the interstate, we come up behind a semi. Our vehicle will stay at a safe distance, depending on what we have told it to stay by the distance indicator button. Stay at that speed and distance from that vehicle when you turn into your left lane. If there's nobody in front of you, your vehicle will automatically go up to that 75 miles per hour and away you go. That was that distance indicator we talked about. Here's your heated steering wheel. Right side is for Bluetooth in your phone. Far right side is for the driver information center in front of you. Just zoom in just a little bit and I'll go through a few of them with you. All right, moving over to our premium, premium infotainment center. And we're getting a little bit of glare off the sun, so forgive me for that. But here's your radio options that you do have. So you're going to have AM, FM, XM, Bluetoothing your phone in. Your mapping system that's going to be built into the vehicle. You're going to have a couple different ways to run maps in this one. You're going to have Google Maps. You're going to have... OnStar navigation maps, and of course all the time you'll be able to Bluetooth your phone in and use your mapping system that's on your phone. You're Bluetoothing that in with a wireless system that's built into the capabilities of the radio. And Bluetoothing your phone in, here's your camera system. The camera system does have the 360 degree surround vision system. The left side is at 360, the right side is controlled by the buttons down at the bottom. So this button here is telling us we're looking to the front. So if we push that again, now we're looking to the rear of the vehicle. Now we're looking straight down at the rear of the vehicle. Push that again, straight down at the front of the vehicle, and so on. Numerous different options on there. And of course, whenever you turn your, put your vehicle in reverse, that camera system will turn on automatically for you. <coughs> All right, going into the settings. Let's go into the settings and show you a few things in there. So the settings and in the vehicle settings, this is where you can default things and have them work the way you want to have them work for you. So as an example, you've got collision detection systems, you can go in there. This has got a full gamut of collision detection systems, automatic emergency braking and front pedestrian braking. They're currently set to alert and brake for you. Um, however, if you're a person that doesn't like the autonomy of vehicle doing something that you're not making it do, you do have the ability to go in there and change those. We don't recommend it, but you can go in there and change those. Setting up different versions of how the buttons on the outside of the vehicle works to get in. Power door locks, remote door locks. If you want to push the button once and have all the doors unlock, or push the buttons once and just have one door unlock. So numerous different ways you can have things set up and work the way you want them to. The vehicle does have a trailer package. So you do have numerous different things that you can add in, in here related specifically to the trailers that you pull. So then you can start keeping track of what trailers are, uh, what their maintenance are, how many miles you have on them, etc. Your keyless start system. Here's your HVAC system. You got your driver's side and passenger side. Heated and ventilated seats, driver's side and passenger side. Exhaust brake, lane assist, park assist, manually dropping the tailgate, four-way hazards, traction control, downhill assist. There's your remote and your remote start system that you have. Your integrated trailer brake. Wireless charging station for your phone. Pretty large area storage there. 
Also got a couple glove box up here, one here, and then one down below. Here's that rear camera mirror system that's on there. Options for the sunroof, garage door openers, rear window, back seat area. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. All right, here we are coming into that second row. You got some nice storage back here behind the seats. One on this side, one on that side. Armrest beverage holder. There's that protective floor covering again. Does have the heated seats in the back, and there's your on off buttons for that. You got some USB ports, HVAC options there. Go ahead and take a look at that multi-pro tailgate. All right, similar to the other doors, this tailgate is the proximity key again. So when you have your key in your pocket, recognizes that. So I'm pushing the bottom, bottom button there. Next button I'm gonna push is that top button. You're not gonna be able to see that. I'm dropping that down for a step. Dropping that one down for a step. And you've got a nice handle here that you can grab onto. So there is that nice multi-pro tailgate fully extended for the step to get up and down. It does have another option that you can fold it up. Give me one second here. Now in essence what you've just done is extended your bed of your truck another foot and a half. If you get some really long material you can put it right up against there so that it doesn't slide out. So there we have it. There's our 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 in that downpour metallic color. 6.6 diesel engine, Duramax. If you're interested in this vehicle, give us a call here at Larkins GMC. Phone number is 608-372-2161. Again, this is Mark Nicholson coming to you from Larkins GMC in Soma. 608-372-2161.